Well, something we've wanted on this tractor for a long time is a couple hooks up on the bucket here just to make life a little bit easier with things. So we're gonna put a couple on today. These were uh, whipped up by getting some weld on hooks at the welding shop. Getting some pieces of 3 8 steel. Cutting them down to size. Drilling some holes in them. And I got somebody else to weld these. All we have on the farm here is a little MIG welder and a very small arc welder, which I haven't even dried yet. Cheap piece of crap. Seen some reviews on them. Look like they work. We're going to end up finding out. So we're going to put these on here this morning. First thing we got to do is try and get these marked out. And in doing an initial layout on these, what I discovered yesterday was that uh, the bucket isn't exactly centered on this 1025R. They're off by about a half inch. The bracket over here on this side goes from five and a half to almost eight inches. And on this side, it's from just under six to eight and a half inches. So in order to center these, I'm actually going to measure from these brackets right here using a square. So we'll do a real quick layout here. Get some holes marked. Start attaching. X marks the spot. Okay, so one of the things that we'll notice on these is uh, a fair bit of heat was put into these brackets when they're being welded. So you can see it's not exactly flat. That's okay. That's minor. I'm going to put a quick splash of paint on the bottom of these brackets. Let this dry a little bit because uh, bottom never got painted. A little bit of John Deere green. Just a little real quick splash and. Uh, let these things dry a bit. We 
painted all these items earlier from the top. They were just sitting on a cardboard box, so. And maybe the bottoms of the brackets should be done too. Or... Spray can with the nozzle off. Learned that a long time ago. So the bolts we're using gave them a little hit of color. Bottom plates, same thing, three eighths, same holes. Should be all good. So let's start with. Uh, Start with a little pilot hole. I don't know what size of drill bit that, uh, bit that is. No, I'm not giving you the finger band-aid on that one. Small drill bit pilot hole. Let's get a little shot of oil for that. Not sure where my tapping and drilling oil bottle is, but uh, some WD-40 or some of this, pretty much anything is better than nothing. So in looking through my drill bits yesterday, this one's a little bit too small, but we got something that'll work for doing the next step up for the bolts. I'm gonna do a check on these pilot holes and make sure they're centered in the brackets before we go too far. off a hair but uh, I think it should be fine tiny little bit not even a sixteenth of an inch on. so let's go to a step up here
really should find the proper oil for this, but but this works. Here, this drill bit's even a little tiny bit bent, but uh, just put those into the bucket. We can get all those with a magnet afterwards. are a little bit small so so I have something I'm going to try I do not know how this is going to do it says it's meant for steel I've used them on wood an awful lot use them on plastics all kinds of other things say they meant for steel so it should be fine on this it helps if you got to tighten in the chuck properly this one has a flat side on it so that should be better uh, question is up enough to go through there. So as I said that one was off about a sixteenth of an inch. So you know what? I'm gonna take this one out just a little step higher. Should give us the space we need on that one. Let's try the other guy.
that side was measured a lot better. So. Let's get rid of these metal filings quick. Don't need the lubricant anymore. So, very good tool that we bought just uh, about a year ago after I got a flat tire in the driveway. Everybody needs one of these. This is a big magnet for rolling through the driveway, finding nails and screws. That wasn't planted, that was there. We just put this into the bucket. All you do is lift this up and it releases the magnet from the bottom so you can drop everything off. Fantastic tool. Did you see those all just drop off when the magnet slid up? I'll try and do that a little bit more controlled this time. There's all the metal filings that were on there. Pull the magnet back. They all just drop off. We'll do the shop floor afterwards here. Just wanted to Take a moment to show you guys that in case you haven't seen one of those that's uh it's not that hard to get a tire repaired but i prefer not to have any patches or plugs in tires let's get the rest of our painted bolts here that one was stuck to the cardboard a little heavy on the paint on the bottom of it lock washer on the bottom when you're putting these on you should probably put the hooks the right way so you can actually get the chains on that's what we want Try this again. Got a lock washer and a nut on one side. This is going to be a welcome addition for doing many tasks. So once again, you know, you can buy these already made. There's a site out there that has them. But if you have a welder or a friend with a welder or access to a welder, you can buy these hooks pretty cheap. You can get some pieces of good steel, three eighths, quarter inch, more than enough. Four little chunks, make backing plates, weld the hooks to two of them.
wrench and a ratchet, we're done. We'll be done. Waste more paint emptying the nozzle on this thing. Go up and get a good look at the finished product here. That's it. Pretty much centered. I might be a hair off, but that's pretty close. That one looks pretty close. There's the bottom side. We can. Uh, Touch that up with a little spot of paint. But we'll be all good. So there we go. Quick affordable hook installation for your John Deere tractor. Or any tractor. Doesn't matter what kind it is. Just might have to change the color. Okay. Till next time.